Alright, Reading Rainbow, episode 120, How Much is a Million? If one million kids climbed onto one's another's shoulders, they would be taller than the tallest buildings, higher than the highest mountains, and farther up than airplanes can fly. If you wanted to count from one to one million, it would take you about 23 days. If a goldfish bowl were big enough for a million goldfish, it would be large enough to hold a whale. Presto! 100 stars. 100. Presto! 100 stars. If this book had a million tiny stars, they would fill 70 pages. Climb aboard! There you have 100,000 stars. If we take this seven page journey ten times, we'll pass a million stars. Let's do that later. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. How big is a billion? If a billion kids made a human tower, they would stand up past the moon. If you sat down to count from one to one billion, you would be counting for 95 years! If you found a goldfish bowl large enough to hold a billion goldfish, it would be as big as a stadium! If this book had a billion tiny stars, its pages spread side by side would stretch almost 10 miles! How tremendous is a trillion! If a trillion kids stood on top of each other, they would reach way, way, way behind the moon, beyond Mars and Jupiter too, and almost as far as Saturn's rings. If you wanted to count from one to one trillion, it would take you almost 200,000 years. If you put a trillion goldfish in a goldfish bowl, the bowl would have to be as big as a city harbor. If you put a trillion of our stars onto a gigantic roll of paper, it would stretch all the way from New York to New Zealand. The end. It's like, okay, so it's always equal to 120. I mean, if you multiply 10 and 12, with the same as 12 times 10, for that would be the same as, tw as 10 times 12. I, and, if you want to add 100 plus 20, the digits, you get 120, my digit sum. That's good for any product of 120. If 100 plus 20 makes 120, you get 120. And if you multiply 1 times 120, you get 120. Okay? Okay, the end.